Welcome everyone. I'm Matt Gagne, proud principal of Sir Robert Borden High School this year. I hope you're doing well and thank you for joining us tonight. We begin tonight by acknowledging that our virtual learning is taking place on unceded and unsurrendered Algonquin territory. We thank the Algonquin Nation for hosting us and recognize their enduring presence on this land. Tonight, you will hear from a number of exceptional staff, as well as a few students, and I hope that tonight's presentation will give you a sense about programs and supports that are part of the high school experience, as well as celebrate the opportunities that your child will have at SRB both inside and outside the classroom. If you have any questions along the way, please don't hesitate to reach out via the questionnaire form that was shared in advance and is also posted on our school website. We will be sure to get back to you via email with any questions that you have. Our Director of Education is able to join us virtually this evening via a video message to bring greetings and welcome students and families to high school. The video is about two minutes long. Please welcome Camille Williams-Taylor. Starting high school is a significant milestone in a young person's journey in education. It is the time where young people can explore their interests, build on their talents, and start to envision their pathway into adulthood. The Ottawa Carleton District School Board is committed to providing a dynamic, engaging, and inclusive school experience where all students are welcome and can be successful through a robust array of exciting and supportive programs and experiences. While there are certain courses that students are required to take, there are also many options for study that students can choose, depending on their interests and their plans beyond high school. We know that some students thrive in the classroom, others achieve greater success in experiential learning opportunities or in virtual spaces. In the OCDSB high schools, we work hard to help students and their families to create a learning path that works well for each student. As a district, we are committed to student achievement, well-being, and student voice through inclusive, equitable, and meaningful programs that provide students many opportunities for success. Our high schools are a place where students can come to school, be who they are, and discover who they can become. This is the time to thrive. Welcome. Thank you very much. Our job is to ensure that students have an inclusive, safe and caring place to learn and provide lots of experience for students to thrive. And we're very fortunate with a large team at Sir Robert Borden to make this possible. We have three vice principals, Ken McQueen and Trevor Grills who work with grades nines to 12 students and Christina Glanders who works with students in grades sevens and eights as well as to help ensure transi transitions as students enter high school. We also work closely with our school council, chaired currently by Carmen Parsons, who is one of our parents. We have a number of key staff from specialty curriculum areas that we work closely with to support students at the school. Tonight, we are fortunate to have our admin team here, as well as our leadership team, many of whom you will hear from tonight and work with students very closely each day. However, at any time, please don't hesitate to contact our department head should you have any questions that are particular for specific areas. Our purpose is to serve every student and work together to dismantle barriers as well as provide welcoming and safe spaces for students. As a school, we continue to examine our practices to improve outcomes for our students. And this is part of our human rights work that we are committed to. Our role is to support all families and every student in the pathway that they choose. We are here to support student success for every one of our students. There are many pathways and options available to meet the needs of each student. You'll be hearing more about this from our guidance team tonight. Our staff do their best to provide enriching curricular opportunities in each classroom and work with you to help students be successful. We have a wonderful student council who helps contribute to student life, both virtually and in person, and work with our school leadership team to help ensure students have a voice. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Ken McQueen, one of our vice principals, who will speak next.
Thank you, Mr. Gagne. Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to SRB uh, Grade 8 night. I've been here now for about six years, and uh, I've seen many Grade 8 nights, uh, but nothing quite like this one done remotely. Uh, normally, you'd come in and we'd meet and greet, and you could ask questions and have a tour and that, but we can't do that, obviously, and so this is, our, this is the best we have right now. Uh, SRB is a special school. Um, I've been around a while, I can tell you. It's, it's a great school. Um, your your uh, son or daughter will be well served. Um, one of the things that SRB does is it embraces equity for all learners with different ethnic and cultural backgrounds, uh, including Indigenous students. And this includes uh, environments provide each student the ability to progress and grow as a learner. One example is in grade 11, where all grade 11 English courses um, study Indigenous writers as the main focus. So the students have an appreciation of this culture and history. It's so important in this day and age. SRB is strongly committed to ensuring the respect and support and inclusiveness of all Black, two-spirited LGBTQ students. This includes, uh, this inclusive approach develops minoritized youth to strong leaders and feel they have a voice and an influence with others in the school. SRB embraces um, different differences in four key areas. One, we engage with the community. We deliver anti-racism and bias awareness, professional development for all staff. We integrate the experiences of Black Canadians into curriculum. And we promote Black student leadership and engagement. On, on top of that, February, which is right around the corner, is Black History Month at SRB, and students and staff are involved showcasing their many talents, teaching Black history and promoting cultural diversity. In addition, SRB has a Rainbow Alliance group and inclusive options for physical education, and Ms. Dubé will probably talk more about that. And now it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Mr. Trevor Grills, uh, Vice Principal, who will speak next. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Trevor Grills, and I'm one of the vice principals here at Sir Robert Borden. At Sir Robert Borden, we support English language learners in all of their courses with language accommodations that they may need to be successful in their courses. With the assistance of their classroom teachers, English as a second language coaches and our multicultural liaison officers, students will be supported through their English language development in all of their classes while at Sir Robert Borden. At, St at Sir Robert Borden High School, all students will be supported to reach their full potential. For students with special education needs, the majority of the learning support that they will receive will be with their classroom teachers. In addition, our learning support teacher, Ms. Susan Griffin, supports students, their families, and our teachers to ensure that, the needs are be, that their needs are being met and that we're all building on each student's strengths and working to improve their areas of need. Students will have access to our resource room throughout the day to support their individual education plan accommodations and our team of educational assistants and resource teachers work creatively and collaboratively to support students both within our classes and in our resource room. In addition, Sir Robert Borden offers two specialized programs, the Autism Secondary Program and the Learning Disability Program. Both of these programs require a referral from the student's elementary school. And if you'd like more information on either of these programs, please reach out to your current elementary school or contact us. We would now like to share a video that's been made by our current grade 10 students, Kaylin Eldridge and Karen Carlisle, to highlight what it's like to be a student at Sir Robert Borden. Hey, future grade nines, I'm Kieran. And I'm Kaylin. We're grade 10 students here at SRV. And we're here to show a student's perspective on our high school. Here at SRV, we have tons of school spirit days, which we scatter throughout the year. My favorite is beach day. Mine is winter sports day. And we also do battle of the greats, where you as an entire grade get to compete against the rest of the school to see who can win the most spirit points in one week. It's really fun, trust us. Here at SRV, we run tons of fantastic activities like dances, casino night, and the Oscars. And they're all done by student council. In high school, dances are after school, which is really cool. The Oscars are a big awards event held at the end of the year. 
And at Casino Night, you can try your hand at gambling, and there's tons of prizes up for grabs. They're really fun. You should check out these videos. Hold up, hold up, hold up, okay, hold up. You see a bitch coming through yo, what's the hold up? Run me the money, cause I be the baddie beat. Bobby Pink, bang and baddie beat. Head to the head to the back and relax. Foy games are held in the pit every Friday, and they're a super fun way to spend your lunch, whether you're playing cup pong, musical chairs, or one of the many other games that we host. And you even have the chance to win prizes or get featured on the SRB Foy Games Wall of Fame. In grade 9, you can run for grade 9 representative, where you get to share a bunch of ideas from your grade with the rest of the school and help plan the amazing events we talked about. It's super fun. And we have experience. We've been co-grade representatives for the past two years now. And in future grades, so there's lots of different positions you can run for, like Spirit Squad, Treasurer, and Media Rep. We definitely recommend. Even though you guys might not know what next year's gonna look like, just know that Link Crew will be there to help you every step of the way. In August, we make phone calls to get you to know you guys a bit better, and you get a school tour and orientation before the first day of school, so you'll be set for next year. Plus, we'll be there throughout the entire year to answer any questions you have and run super fun activities. It was definitely a great help for me last year when I was in grade 9. So there's so many different ways to get involved with clubs, and there's such a big amount of them that there's definitely one that'll interest you. For example, there's Twigs, an environmental club, debate club, book club, and Key Club, where I made these dog toys to get my community involvement hours. See? Mia! <laughs> <laughs> There she is! One club that we both participated in this year is DECA, which is a business competition club. We got to make projects and you get to compete at a regional, provincial, national, and even international level. It's really cool. There's also the Star of Life Club, run by yours truly. It's yet another volunteering club at SRV, but this time it's healthcare based for all of you future doctors out there. There's also a high school yearbook. It has many uses, and it's run by the Yearbook Club, which you can be a part of. You can work on the tech side with the layout of pages, or you can also help with photography. You know what you guys should do next year? Be part of Junior Band. The music pieces are great, it's super fun to do all the concerts, and there's a great end of your band trip. Now where was I? Whether you play basketball, or volleyball, which are the two sports I played, you have practices before and after school. You also have games against other schools, which lead into tournaments and playoffs, and even city finals for junior teams and provincial finals for senior teams. Last year's sport I did was track, which is much better in the summer, trust me. Plus, there's new events you can do, like high jump. Other new sports you can do in high school are curling, skiing, field hockey and ice hockey, tennis, golf, and a bunch of others. One new program you can take next year is tech, where you can work with things like Photoshop, architecture design, and build really cool things like clocks and stools. Ije Espanol. Some other courses you can take in ninth grade that you couldn't before are guitar and piano. Can you tell I didn't take it? SRB is one of the three OCDSB schools that has a learning disability program. We also have an autism program that is comprised of 18 students in three classes, all integrated at various levels. At SRB, there's three different chisms you can take in grades 11 and 12, which stands for Specialist High Schools Major. There are specialized groups of courses that you can take if you want to go into a specific career path, like Health and Wellness. Yes, there's also the 911 and emergency services chisholm. Another chisholm you can take is the architecture chisholm. This is Kaylin and Kieran on High School Life at SRV. We're super excited to see you guys next year. I'd like to introduce Ms. Tara Dubé, Department Co-Head of Physical, Physical Education and Health and Family Studies, who will speak next. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Tara Dubé, Co-Head of Phys Ed and Co-Athletic Director um, with Sandra Lillico. Uh, during lunch, students are invited to participate in a variety of activities in the gymnasium. 
The main goal of our intramural program is to give all students, no matter what their skill level might be, an opportunity to participate, participate in athletic activity. Whether a team is junior, senior, or varsity is dependent on the structure of the league and on student interest. Leagues run during the fall, winter, and spring seasons. Leagues typically follow a six to eight game structure or a multi-day tournament format. Students are expected to be committed to the team they have joined and attend all practices and games. Sports during the fall season include the following. Uh, teams without designation have both boys and girls divisions. And due to the commitment required, we ask that students choose only one team sport per season. Our winter sports include the following. And during the spring, the following sports are offered. To recognize the hard work put forth by our student athletes, Sir Robert Borden Athletics offers an athletic letter to graduating students who have contributed significantly to its program. This award is based on a point system and students must submit an application and that application is usually due uh, towards the, the middle of May. And now I'd like to introduce Ms. Sandra Lillico, my department co-head of physical education and Health and Family Studies, who will speak next. Thank you, Tara. Good evening, everybody. As all students learn differently, we, with this recognition, the board has created a number of ways students can have a hands-on experience in school. Here at SRB, we are pleased to offer a number of these opportunities. We firmly believe that experiential learning experiences can help make the connection between uh, learning and life goals, uh, between, sorry, learning and life goals in providing the focus of a unique tolerated uh, learning environment. Cooperative education opportunities open up to students in grade 11 and 12 as they get closer to embarking on their career path. These opportunities can allow students to test drive a profession, gain insight into various opportunities available to them. Co-op is also an important component of the specialist high skills major program that offers hands-on experiences in relevant fields. In addition, co-op offers a unique opportunity for success for all learners. The programming options listed above are important considerations when planning your education and your learning journey. These all provide different learning experiences, allowing students to build online learning, communication skills, gaining work experiences, building unique skills, earning special certificates, and in some cases, able to earn college credits. The International Certificate Program is another way for SRB students to enhance their learning with unique opportunities, diversify themselves for post-secondary learning and work towards their career goals. This program recognizes and honors students who demonstrate a commitment to building global citizens. Our International Certificate Program is thriving at SRB and it's Purpose is to recognize and honor students who demonstrate a commitment to being active global citizens, studying an international language, taking internationally focused courses, developing an understanding of global issues, participating in international focused products, projects for their choice. Mr. Zubrin is our ICP advisor and also the teacher rep for the Global Youth Club. I'd like to now introduce Ms. Susan Griffin, Department Head of Special Ed Education, who will speak next. The Special Education Department facilitates and helps arrange supports and services for students who have been assessed as having special learning needs, as well as helps investigate the possible causes of newly identified challenges in consultation with classroom teachers, parents, and the students themselves. 
Individual education plans or IEPs are developed or updated annually for students who require ongoing support in the classroom. If your child is currently in the OCDSB and has an IEP, the IEP will be carried forward into grade nine unless you request for it to be discontinued. If your child currently has an IEP but is coming from outside of the OCDSB, please indicate it on your child's online registration form and contact me. For students with IEPs, accommodations are provided within the regular classroom as much as possible by the regular classroom teacher. The most common accommodations our students use are extended time for timed evaluations like tests and exams, computer use, and assistive technology. However, other accommodations are available as needed. Occasionally, there are accommodations that are provided outside of the regular classroom in the resource room by resource teachers or by educational assistants. For students with IEPs who will require extra support in transitioning to a high school setting, consideration may be given to enrolling your child in an intensive learning strategies course that is taught to a small group of students by a special education teacher. The decision to enroll a student in this course is based upon grade eight teacher recommendation and is made in consultation with the parent or guardian. Once your child is in high school, if he or she is experiencing challenges, the school will follow a tiered intervention model whereby different strategies are attempted in order to help students be successful prior to the development of an IEP. If you have concerns, the first stop is always the classroom teacher who works with your child each day. The Student Success Program provides support to students who are struggling. It is intended to be a proactive approach to help students succeed academically. The Student Success Program may include academic help outside of class time or short-term withdrawal from a class to get intensive support in order to rescue a credit. In the event that a student is unsuccessful in a course, consideration is given to offering credit recovery to complete the course requirements. Credit rescue is coordinated between the classroom teacher and the student success teacher, whereas credit recovery can only be accessed through our referral process. In addition to our in-school staff who will be working with your children, we also have a number of itinerant staff who come into the school on a regular basis, as well as others who are available as needed. These itinerant staff act mostly in a consultative role with school staff. However, some may work directly with our students. Referrals to our itinerant staff and to our student success program are made through our guidance counselors or through our biweekly multidisciplinary team meeting, which involves school staff as well as a number of the itinerant staff previously mentioned. Parent or guardian consent is usually required for referrals to the psychologist, social worker, or other members of learning support services. Every effort is made to engage parents and guardians in any student interventions. We value the homeschool team approach. Should you have any concerns about your child's progress at school, please do not hesitate to contact your child's classroom teachers or their guidance counselor. I will now hand it over to Ms. Marianne Mayhew to continue the program. Good evening, parents and any students who have joined us. I am Ms. Mayhew, the Department Head of Guidance under the umbrella of Student Services. In guidance, we divide our students between two counselors, and I focus on the educational and emotional needs of students with the last names A to K. You will meet our other guidance counselor shortly. Yesterday, guidance hosted a virtual presentation for SRB grade eight students. And we talked about some of the changes they will experience in high school, but also the many opportunities they will have as senior bangles. Perhaps you have already started to hear about some of these exciting programs. Graduation is a goal of all high school students and the OCDSB 
offers a pathway to graduation for all students. One of the differences in high school is that students will now earn credits towards their graduation. Students who are intending to graduate with an Ontario Secondary School Diploma or an OSSD will require 30 credits to graduate. 18 of these are compulsory, meaning students must take these credits, and 12 are elective credits, which students can choose. Students must also complete their provincial literacy requirement, which is the Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test, also known as the OSSLT, which is administered in the spring of grade 10. Students must also complete 40 hours of community involvement over the four years of high school. Students can begin earning these hours during the summer following grade eight. Students intending to earn an Ontario Secondary School Certificate require 14 credits to graduate, seven are compulsory credits, and seven are elective credits. All schools in the OCDSB are committed to ensuring pathways for all students. SRB offers locally developed and essential courses for students who are interested in the workplace pathway. These courses focus on experiential opportunities for learning, which build literacy and numeracy competencies. Academic and university courses focus on critical thinking and theoretical content, which enriches student learning and in turn helps students choose a post-secondary destination. Applied and college courses provide activity-based programming to build skills and facilitate the development of concrete problem solving. In grade nine, students gain essential skills, which can facilitate a transition to the academic pathway in grade 10. Parents can speak to student administration, school administration and guidance teams to discuss course options for their children. In response to the Ontario government's commitment to de-streaming grade nine classes, SRB is offering both mathematics and geography as combined classes. De-streaming means that there will be no levels and the curriculum will be the same for all students. Mathematics is the first subject to be de-streamed by the government. And in the spirit of de-streaming, SRB will be integrating academic and applied geography students. Teachers will use a variety of educational strategies such as differentiated instruction and cooperative learning in order to reach all learners. A typical grade nine timetable consists of eight subjects, seven of which are compulsory credits. English, science, and French will have different levels for students to choose from, academic, applied, and locally developed, and students are required to choose an arts credit. The choices for the arts credit are instrumental music, drama, visual art, guitar, or keyboarding, which is piano. Grade nine students also have an elective choice and therefore they can choose another arts credit, Spanish or an exploring technologies credit. Spanish is a beginner course that provides an opportunity to develop skills in listening, speaking, reading and writing Spanish. Exploring technologies is a combination of communication technology where students learn to use software programs such as Flash animation and Photoshop, and construction, where they learn measurement and the safe use of tools, and design, where students learn hand drafting and computer programs, such as Sketchpad. Band is an extra course option that has a value of 0.5 credit in grades nine and 10, and students are required to take instrumental music or piano keyboarding in order to take band. The option of band during the 2021-2022 school year is subject to COVID-19 safety pro protocols. There are three levels of French instruction, 
immersion, academic, and core. Open core French is for students who have less than 600 hours of French instruction. Students need to have at least 600 hours of French instruction for academic core French, while students with more than 3,800 hours of French instruction are eligible for the immersion for immersion French. The OCDSB offers two French certificates. Upon successful completion of seven credits taken in French, students earn an OCDSB extended French certificate. For students who successfully complete 10 credits in French, students earn an OCDSB immersion certificate. There are several different course options at SRB for students to earn the French certificates. There are also online options and summer school options. Here is a list of the current courses taught in French and SRB students are also offered the opportunity to write the DELF test, which is an internationally recognized test of French proficiency for persons whose language is not French. That's quite a mouthful. Students can earn a certificate from the French Ministry of National Education, depending on their level of proficiency. SRB students do very well on the DELF. I will now pass the presentation over to Mr. Mullins, our other guidance counselor, and he's going to talk to you about course selection. Have a great evening. Good evening. Thank you, Ms. Mayhew. I would like to spend a few moments to speak about the course selection process and continuing education. How do you know what courses to select? This diagram provides a guide on who students could speak with and provides some questions students can consider to help make course selections. Students can reflect upon these four key questions each year throughout high school to select their courses. Who am I? What are my opportunities? Who do I want to become? And what is my plan for achieving my goals? We encourage you to speak with your child and their teachers to make the best course decisions as they enter grade nine. The OCDSB uses an online platform called Zello. So this is what students will use to explore career opportunities, learn more about themselves and to plan and select their courses. Zello offers different inventories for students to define their interests and skills such as a learning style inventory and a career matchmaker. We encourage students to complete and redo these inventories each year before they select their courses. The attached Zello videos in the enclosed links can be viewed at a later date that is convenient to you. The first video is an introduction to Zello and the second video is Zello from a student's perspective. Current OCDSB students will access Zello in the student portal on the OCDSB website and will work with their guardians and teachers to select their courses. Your son and daughter's grade eight teachers and SRB's guidance counselors will help students select their courses in Zello. The timeline for course selection will be communicated by their grade eight teacher. Once Zello is open, please reach out to Ms. Mayhew or myself with any questions. We are here to help. If your child will be new to SRB next year, you will first complete our online registration form and then SRB's guidance will be in contact with you to help select courses. We also wanted to mention that the OCDSB Continuing Education Department offers additional learning opportunities for students outside of the regular school day. Students may decide to study an international language or take a summer school course, for example. Summer school information will become available usually late March or early April. In the past, there have been reach ahead options for grade eight students looking to get a head start on credits. There were also preparatory course options available for students who need extra support in literacy and numeracy and who may be achieving below a level three in language arts and math. I have included the link on this slide to keep you up updated once further information and registration details become available. 
I'd now like to invite back our principal, Mr. Matt Gagne, to speak next. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mullins. Um, thank you everyone um, to all of our staff and students who were able to give us a little glimpse of what students can look forward to uh, in high school next year. Um, normally, we would love to be able to show you around the school after this presentation and have students be our ambassadors, um, whom we, who I'm, I believe uh, showcase our students um, best. Um, however, um, hopefully we can do this um, soon in person. Um, our incoming grade nine students will get an orientation session at the beginning of the school year as part of Link Crew um, before classes begin um, in the fall. Um, and um, um, just, just, just to recap, at any point in time, if you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to, to call us at the school um, or send us an email or um, um, go to our website and um, click on the Google form to submit the questionnaire from anything tonight that we didn't cover. Um, I know that one question that we have been asked is around cross-boundary transfer process, um, and this is for families that live outside of SRB's catchment area. Uh, there is an OCDSB online transfer application process, uh, and that process runs between February 1st and 16th uh, of, this, of this year. Uh, more information is available on the student transfer parent guide, um, and that can be found on the OCDSB website, and both are linked to this presentation, which will be shared, um, which will be shared and posted uh, by tomorrow. Um, for the past three years, as well as for this coming school year, SRB will be a zero transfer cap school. However, there is a process to follow and parents are still welcome to apply. Um, an individual letter can accompany the online application to clarify individual personal circumstances. And if you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, regardless, all students must register at their home school, uh, regardless of a transfer uh, application. And, and um, for current students who are already in SRB in grade eight, there's no need to, to do any registration um, and we'll get to course selection um, come February. Um, if you are watching tonight and uh, you are a parent of a grade eight student who is not currently attending SRB, um, but does live within the, the school catchment area, um, please contact us for next steps regarding registration. Um, and you can do this um, um, uh, at any point in time, um, but through the phone uh, 613-829-5320 or contact Judy Smith in the main office um, via email. And um, we can discuss next steps around the registration process and uh, documents that are required, et cetera. Um, and current grade eight students will complete their courses um, uh, through Zello uh, in February and more information will come um, via um, email as well as through grade eight teachers uh, when the time comes to do that. And last but not least, your child is in the driver's seat for their experience at high school. Um, there are many pathways to graduation and many opportunities to look forward to that lie ahead. Um, and on behalf of the staff uh, at the school, we, we look forward to working with you in the coming years to support your students' success. Thanks very much for joining tonight, and we wish you a pleasant evening. <laughs>